Hey Sage Welcome, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Soul here and I'm back with another video for you my Soul fam. Guys, I am excited for this one. It is my first video that I'm doing with this and basically I have questions here. Did I show long? No. I have, I think it's 15 questions here and I'll be dipping and answering all 15 of them. And just know that it is uh, questions uh, that I didn't answer before and it is very special. There's not just regular smegular questions. It is Christmas edition questions. All right. So let's get into the video. my lights are going crazy in the background I just had to all right so my first question is favorite Christmas movie oh I ripped it my favorite Christmas movie is um, Home Alone that's my all-time favorite Christmas movie I like all of them all well no I like from part one to part three I could tolerate part four, part five is a stretch, but yeah, that's my favorite. Let's move on. The next one. If you were given a trip for Christmas, what country would you like to go to? Hmm. Ah, that's a good question because I love traveling. Uh, for Christmas, uh, it will have to be <laughs> uh, America, um, specifically New York. I don't like New York, but I want to go to New York to um, see, you know, they have this tradition where they have the big tree lighting. I want to go there to see the lights and see this humongous tree. So that is where I would like to go for Christmas. Next, what is Christmas all about to you? Uh, Christmas is all about um, Jesus. Um, it is not the only time that we celebrate Jesus, but it is one of those holidays where we put emphasis on on Jesus and yeah so that is what it's all about to me um, to continue along that line is about spending time with family and friends because it's another holiday where you can get to, to celebrate with them other than you know when you're doing your normal 9 to 5 or doing your normal things that you won't be able to but the main reason is Jesus next question what are five things that brightens my Christmas? Uh, so, five things that brighten my Christmas. Well, you can see it in the background. Lights, um, family time, pan, serenading, playing that instrument. Um, that's three. Uh, eating the food, eating all the ham, drinking the sorrel. You know, having the cake, you know, I like that. Uh, five. What would be the next thing? The next thing is, uh, well, I go to church, so I can't say like church, but I mean, I could put church in there. I go into church. That could be another one. Tip, tip. What did I do? On Christmas Eve while in secondary school <laughs> uh, well for secondary school uh, from one and two I don't think I did anything I was home you know but then from three that's when your girl felt that she was a big girl now so I think I went out with friends usually our tradition is like going to town to St. George's in front of Bruce Street and Esplanade Mall, we, people would just go there from all secondary schools. They'll just go there, make sure that they're well dressed, 
and they're with their friends and they'll be seeing other people so that's basically what i did i i remember a time i went to granville with with a guy and and my auntie Sh Teresa. so yeah i did that too but yeah basically in town line and that's what i did that was a nice question i like that bring me down memory lane uh favorite christmas memory while studying abroad favorite christmas memory while studying abroad uh okay so if you didn't know i studied in america for three years to get my bachelor's degree and while there i had a group of people that took care of me really really well and i had the opportunity to go to their houses to celebrate the different um, holidays uh, for christmas i remember um three particularly um well the first one is when i went to miss Patterson's house um she her and her husband lived there and we she taught me to bake sugar cookies that was the first time baking it and having it um she taught me to cook a bunch of different things that they usually serve during christmas and then we did gift exchange i got to meet her family and that was really nice another thing was what else? Oh, uh, when I was with Pastor Ron and Miss Lois, um, they usually uh, volunteer at a theater downtown. And I love to go see um, theater productions. So they brought me with them to volunteer, to usher people to their seats. And then after, we were able to look at the production. So I really, really enjoyed that too. And I think it has another one that I'm forgetting. Oh, I went to the Kale's house and they, um, the thing that stood to me more was when I built my first snowman. Um, it was, I don't know, it was pretty small, pretty, pretty small. And I just put my mittens on his head and I really liked that experience. Oh, the dogs, um, even at night. But yeah, that's my favorite, um, moments that i think about while studying abroad uh next one is favorite um genre of music for christmas parang parang soka parang soka bam, bam, bam. make the christmas so much sweeter yes i love parang favorite christmas tradition my favorite christmas tradition uh is serenading is when um when I was younger, uh, it was two actually, they're pretty similar. It's when um, my mom would always give us money. Um, that's when we got older though. So let me take the first one. So let me back up. So we would always have Secret Santa. And the people in my family, we would dip names and we would get, that would be the person that we're gonna buy the gift for. But my mom would always give us fifty dollars each to buy the gift. All right, so we would buy it, and then Christmas morning it would be a big excitement because um, we'll find out one who got our names, and then two what we got. So I really really enjoy that. And now, what we started a couple years ago, but what we will do is we will um, get money. Um, maybe as we were older we would have our own money but what we would do is like we would all get that money and what we would do is we'll go out and get whatever we want so i remember my brother would always go out to get games not octavian my brother because octavian came later um donnie he would always go out and buy games all right so whether it be game boy or the nintendo you know these games for the tv and my sister would always get clothes, always go and get clothes. And I would always go get junk food because I love junk food. So I always go make sure I get my junk food. And when I have my food, then they would always want my food for Christmas. And it was just a fun time. So I really enjoy that. 
I'm sorry about the dogs. It doesn't want to stop. It's like every time I wait, it starts up again. It's like it's driving me crazy. Huh. What type of drinks is a must have for Christmas in Grenada? Uh, for what I know is uh, punch of cream. It could be spike or it could be regular. Um, ginger beer. Um, the most important one is sorrel. Sorrel, sorrel, sorrel. And sorrel could be spiked too. And if you don't know what spike means, it means that you put alcohol in it. All right, we're moving on. What did you do during Christmas break while studying abroad? Uh, well, this is similar to the, the other question. Uh, I would go to the people who would take care of me and go to um, their houses. I think I've been home once since I have been studying. Um, once I came home for Christmas. Uh, but all the other times I were over there uh, taken care of by um, my wonderful, I don't want to say host family because they weren't really my host family. They were more like parents, caretakers. So that's what I did and I went all over and I did a bunch of things. Next question, favorite Christmas song. My favorite Christmas song, I think by Alan. Alan G. It's a Canadian Christmas song. It's Christmas Without You. I really like that song growing up. And I like parent songs. I mean, I listen to the other um, songs um, from the different countries, but I would have to say Christmas Without You. How can I spend Christmas without you? Go look it up. I can't sing, so I'm not carrying the, the, the note well. <laughs> Next. Must do's for Christmas. Must do's for Christmas. I must have salt ham. Uh, um, well, I must eat salt ham because that's doing. I must go see lights somewhere. Whether it's at the Christmas village in quarantine point or go around and see the lights or have my lights on my own i really love the lights um serenade i must serenade must go out and play pan at different people's houses or on the road and the bonus for that is getting things to eat and just hanging out with my um pan family and yeah hanging out with my family family so these are uh, some of the things I must do Christmas. And now I have my YouTube channel. I must vlog for Christmas. What type of cake is a must have in Grenada? Um, black cake and it's heavy on the alcohol uh, and fruit cake. I think that's the two um, cakes that people usually have here in Grenada during Christmas. I mean, they have others, but these are the two um, main. And we are down to the last question. And the last question is, what are three things I must do on Christmas morning? <laughs> Christmas morning, I must, uh, I would get up. If I'm home, greet my family, Merry Christmas. Um, but if I'm at my apartment, I would call them and say Merry Christmas. And then I would leave because it's early morning to go serenade. Um, and then that's basically it. Or if I have gifts, I'll open it. So that's the three things that I'll do. But it has changed so much over the years that um, it's just like get up um, and go. Like I don't even eat breakfast most of the times. I have to get up and go. Because usually 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock we're leaving to go serenade. So I'll go and come back at night time. And when I come back at night time, then I have my... Ooh, 
I must have my ham, my salt ham with my freshly baked bread. Have that. Oh, mm, I'm ready for it. I'm salivating. Anyways, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is 15 things, 15 things um, that you learn about me uh, for the Christmas. I'm happy. I'm happy. Please remember to stay safe and stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodaloo.